me quick hits. It's time for Hobby Quick Hits. Hobby Quick Hits. A sports card podcast where we tackle the hobby's hottest topics in depth to help you navigate the sports card landscape and enjoy the hobby we all love. Here's your host, John Newman. All right, welcome to another episode of Hobby Quick Hits. A uh, fun episode today. Uh, we just got done. Uh, with the National, as most know, I was fortunate to get some main stage time on Thursday, the 29th, 30 minutes. Uh, I've edited this to cut out some of the, the silences and, and condense it more, a little bit more consumable. But I had Brody the Kid join me on stage. We talked about various topics, hobby, kids, content creation. Um, and at the end of our appearance... I brought up a young man, 13-year-old Jacob from Kentucky, who's doing his own podcast and cited myself and Brody as uh, inspiration. And so, cool moment there, uh, having that young man come up on stage, gave him some shirts and some swag, talked to him a little bit, and gave him some encouragement. Not that he needs it, he's a pretty self-motivated young man, but it was a pleasure meeting him. And so, this is the sound of that stage uh, show. Uh, the video will be put on the Sports Card Nation YouTube uh, probably in the next week or two as well. But before we get to the show, we got to thank our great sponsor, Mojo Break, for making this all possible. Well, let's hear from them. Hey, folks, wanted to tell you about the best place to get some of your sealed sports card wax products. Great selection and some of the lowest prices on the web. MojoBreakShop.com is that place. Whether it's a box or a whole case, they're your guys. And they ship around the world right to your door. The Mojo Break name is one of the most trusted in the hobby. From sports cards to Pokemon, their selection can't be beat. They offer daily deals and pre-orders. Who won first place at this year's Tops Rip Party? None other than Mojo Break. Their prices are already great, but here's a way to save even more money. Use the code QUICKHITS, that's Q-U-I-C-K-H-I-T-S, for 10% off anything on MojoBreakShop.com. They also have a full-service card shop in Santa Clara, California. So if you're in the area, stop by. They're open seven days a week, so check them out at MojoBreakShop.com. So everybody, give a big round of applause and welcome to John Newman of the Sports Card Nation podcast. What is up? How is everybody doing? All right, so I got to my, my left. I don't know if you know it. He's the official kid host of the National. And uh, Brody, did you know that I was the unofficial old man of the National? Yeah, I knew. Okay. All right. So we got we got that out of the way. So I've been walking around the show, uh, and I got to say, I was at the 2019 National, and I didn't see as many kids as I wanted to. Uh, you know, I started as a seven-year-old young man in, in Brooklyn, New York, I'll just say a, a long time ago. And, uh, you know, I, I, kids in the hobby are, are an important platform to me. But we're seeing a, a lot more here in 2021. I'm going to give you a little credit, uh, Brody. I think a, a lot of that's due to you being a great uh, advocate and an ambassador uh, for the kids in the hobby. But uh, what else do you think? Uh, why, why are we seeing a, a lot more kids? Oh, yeah, I think the companies have been doing an amazing job helping kids get into this hobby upper deck who you just saw has some awesome products for kids and awesome promotions um panini launched their kids crate at the national just came out yesterday night which is really awesome affordable for kids really cool stuff in there and tops i love their card wall it's really fun there all the companies are doing their part which is awesome all right so i i gotta know like what does being the uh, official kid host, uh, how much do you get paid for that? I do it for the fun, because the national's awesome. 
And I can't believe it's only Thursday because it feels like it's Saturday. I know. My, my feet hurt. Does anyone else's feet hurt or is it just me? Yes. <laughs> All right. I feel, yes. I feel a little bit better. All right. My feet it is, hurt yesterday. It, it isn't just me. And it's a little hot in here, too. But yes. that, comes, that comes with the territory. So we just had Upper Deck. Uh, that's a tough act to follow. When I heard that was going to happen, I almost didn't show up. But, but here we are. Uh, it, you know, to the car, I know I've asked you this before, Brody. You know, to the card companies, and they've done some things to, to get more kids uh, involved. But uh, what else maybe could you tell them, if you, you know, additional to, to what they're already doing? Well, I've always had the idea of a kids club um, where you, if you buy more product, uh, let's say opening day for tops, then you can get in for awards and stuff, and you can have a monthly check-in for awards. A lot of cool LCSs have their own kids club, which is awesome. Um, the, the subscription boxes that Tops Tops did the Future Stars Club, which came out last year, has also been really cool. Um, yeah, it's pretty much, yeah. So did you buy anything today or yesterday? Yes, I have made some purchases. Different from the past couple nationals nationals i'd usually look for those cheaper deals blaster boxes and stuff but i'm trying to look at my budget and buy something good with that instead of doing all these cheap stuff and let's be real there's not too much cheap stuff anyways but if anybody is looking for cheap stuff head on over to singles club um all cards are dollar that's like the favorite place it's packed I have tried to get in there like four times, and I can't get a sp spot because there's people in there all the time. Yeah, it's a great uh, great plug for them. And for, you know, the kids that maybe have a, a limited budget, there's some great cards in there for, for a dollar yeah. a piece. And you see all the, the, the big kids in there looking uh, Brody yeah. just as well. Uh, uh, so that tells you something. So, yeah, there's, there's plenty of ways to hobby, uh, no matter how old uh, you are. So we do a, a Saturday morning show called ha Hobby Hotline. It's a live broadcast where we take call-ins. And uh, this past year, we added this young man right here, Brody, uh, to the show. Dr. Beckett is part of the show. Brian Gray, uh, Jeremy Lee, myself, Drew Herndon, Val Mars. Uh, we added Sam Schufert, woman of the hobby, uh, to the show. Uh, and uh, on and on, Logan Ward. Joining the show, Brody, what, what, how's it been so far? What do you think of being uh, part of the show? I've loved it. It's a really cool and different show. Lots of generations. It's been a lot of fun, you know, talking, meeting some new guys and talking to guys like you I had known from the past from being on your podcast and you coming on my show, Hobby Life. Yeah, I really like it. Everybody should check it out. It's a lot of fun. Well, like I told you, the, the main reason I had you uh, be part of the show was, you know, we have Rich Klein is on that show, too, yes. and I'm old. We have a lot of old guys, and we had to bring the average age of the show down like 30 years. So that's, that's why. I'm only kidding, Brody. You're obviously uh, very talented, and we're, we're, we're uh, fortunate and privileged to have you uh, on, on part of the show. Uh, so what, what are your plans for the, you know, the rest of... Uh, the show well i set up over by the signatures for soldiers booth which is the charity auction for the national helping them with their auction promoting them a lot i have some free stuff for kids and they do as well um i'll be helping tops tomorrow with pack wars with alan nars um alan nars is like the goat i mean he is just a really fun dude and he's really good at saying wow he says it a lot, but it, Pack Wars, I would definitely come check it out. It's free, and it's get, it, it gets crazy in there. You'll hear, if you're, by, if you're by Beckett, forewarning to you right next to Tops, because it's going to get really loud in there. I am guaranteeing you that. Well, you got you to out, you got to out loud, Alan. You're getting older now, so... And uh, yeah, you you know you 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 just had a birthday recently. You're not you're in, you're 13 now. I, I you know any I, plans to change your name to like Brody the the teen? 
And I think Brody the Kid will stay forever. I don't, there's just not a good replacement for it, and it's going to be the kid. I mean, it's been here for the past three years, and I think that's just, just going to stay. So do you have a card you're looking for? Is there, like, a card you came into the show and said, man, when the show's over, I want to own this, and anything like that? I mean, I've been wanting to get some White Sox. As you know, Eloy just came back, and Luis Roberts also still hurt, but will be coming back soon. Um, he's good. Their stuff went down a lot. Um, football, not really much football. Basketball, I just bought a nice Trey Young card. I, Cam Johnson, too, is another guy I like on this. Any Suns really I've been looking for because I think next year they will be the NBA champions. They they got there. They didn't win it, but I think they'll have the experience now, and I think they'll be able to win it. So, uh, you know, to, to the young folks out there listening, and this is going to be on, on podcast form too, Brody, you know, for a, a kid that maybe is thinking about doing what you're doing, like, you know, what's your advice to them? Yeah, any kid, it's just... As any kid that hasn't started it but wants to start one as well, just do it. Just start it. It doesn't matter about the views when you start it. It matters if you like it and you're enjoying it, then just keep doing it. And eventually, it will get really hyped. It will just keep doing it. Never give up. Keep doing it. Um, just do do what fits you. Uh, you uh, our uh, friend on Hobby Hotline, Brad would always say, "Do you do you, boo? Just do do what sh- expires you." Yeah, we, now we got to give him two dollars for saying his catchphrase. But <laughs> all right, so uh, how you know how many nationals have you been to now? This is my fourth national. Uh, that's more than me. As crazy as that mm-hmm. sounds, you're wow. a veteran. <laughs> you're a veteran of the national at, at, at thirteen. What have you seen in the four that you've been to, Brody? What have, what have you seen change uh, uh, from the first one? I know we're only into the second day here, but what have you seen different uh, uh, since that, that first one you went to? Well, you said kid attendance has been really high this year, which is awesome to see. Also, I think just attendance in general keeps going up and up and up. I can't... Saturday is going to be like... Hunger Games in here or something. It's going to be like pushing around trying to get to a booth because there's going to be so many people here. Yeah, I can't believe it's only Thursday. It feels like it's Saturday. <laughs> Been exploring the whole time. A um, lot, lot of sealed wax, I think, this year, too. I've a, a good, a pretty good percentage of tables have sealed boxes. Um, more repack products. Try to get more people to get those nice cards. Yeah, good good points. Uh, man, I, I can't believe four. Like, what did you start going? You were, like, three years old? Well, my first one was in 2017, so I think I, I was nine then. So, yeah, yeah. back in yeah. Chicago. So this is my third one in Chicago because last year got canceled. And this is this is this right in your backyard, man. How, how cool is that? Yeah, it's fun. I mean, only 45 minutes away. You can't beat that. Um, the only thing, I mean, it is, you know, it's pretty close, but I also have seen this convention center quite a few times. I'm excited for Atlantic City because it's going to be something brand new. I'm going to walk up to something I've never seen before, a city I've never seen before, a state I've never been in. At all. Yeah. Well, Atlantic City's in my neck of the woods, so I'm going to get the drive to that, and uh, so that'll be... Uh, not as close as this is to you, but uh, a little bit better. I won't have to fly as far as uh, uh, proximity, and, uh, you know, that, that'll that be fun. I can probably bring more stuff in my car uh, than you can yeah. uh, on, a, on a plane. But, uh, you know, you're welcome. Uh, we're probably going to have uh, uh, maybe a place on the water. My wife might go. You guys are welcome to uh, stay at the, uh, the uh, hobby house and, uh, you know, and... Uh, That'll, that'll be fun. I asked the powers that be here at the National if we could have one in Syracuse, but I, I haven't heard anything <laughs> back yet. I don't know if you ever will, John. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Atlantic City is going to probably be uh, uh, the closest place. So, you know, we, we talked about, like, with the companies, what you could 
uh, you know, suggest to them, you know, stuff. Uh, we, we're seeing prices come down with a little bit of a dip. Uh, you know, what's your take? Have you what have you seen? You know, uh, yourself. Can you speak to the the price changes? Yeah, it is. It is. You're right. It is going down, especially stuff from this year mainly. Uh, stuff from last year, like basketball from last year, isn't going to go down. People love Zion, but some of like I've seen Prism basketball from this year seems to be trending down. Oh, some of the new releases haven't been. As, I mean, they're still higher than 2019, but they don't seem to be as bad as stuff coming out last year when we were sitting in our houses doing nothing and all we got to do was open cards, open cards, open cards. Um, yeah, that, that's so terrible, opening cards. Yeah. I, I, I feel your pain there. <laughs> so what, what haven't you done yet that's on the list? I, I know you're a busy guy. What what are you haven't done that you got to check off? Well, I need to find Dr. Beckett. Um, I want to say hi to him. I also want to meet Blake Jameson. I, I hate to tell you this. I'm not trying to brag. I, I've checked both of those off uh, the John list. You got to you got to check them off the uh, the Brody list. But uh, right. they're in the building. Uh, they are. You'll you'll see them, I'm sure. And uh, but uh, you know, like you said, Thursday. It's it's Thursday and it's right. it's already yep. crazy. What's what's tomorrow and Saturday going to be like, Brody? I think it's going to be like I said earlier. It's going to be an absolute madhouse in here. Uh, Saturday, right across the room, top shelf breaks is going to be having Sarah Spain here. Which, so that'll be pretty cool. I'm excited to meet her. The, this is going to be crazy. And I, I really enjoyed when, when I first walked in the building, the first thing I noticed was over at Filth Bomb Breaks, that bomb with the very awesome chain. Shout out to them. That bomb is awesome for sure. Really dope. All right. Way to kiss. You'll, you'll get your box here after we come off the stage. Uh, I like them too. Maybe I can get a, a box too. <laughs> But uh, before I get into something else, Brody, you know, uh, even though prices have come down, it still, you know, can be a pricey hobby. You mentioned singles, uh, the singles club for the dollar cards. But even outside the national, some advice to the younger collectors on how to, you know, stay in the hobby and, and, and enjoy it. Some tips for those that are, are listening. Yeah, I would think if you want... The first thing you should do, I think, was go to Dave and Adams or Steel City and find that kid's crate. I think it's really, you get what you're paying. It's only $60, which nowadays is pretty fair. And they're going to throw in some extra merch and stuff for you, too, some bonus stuff. And they tell you exactly what you're getting in the boxes. It's really, I think, a good deal. But they put it to ages 12 and I was told earlier that I was going to be to 14 so sadly Brody the kid is not eligible to buy it which is you know well well, I know a guy that can uh, help you out there but all right so so Brody uh, uh, about a month ago I, you know I get feedback uh, on the show uh, most of it good thankfully every once in a while maybe you know do better John but uh, I got an email about uh, a month ago and uh, it was from a 13-year-old young man, and he had mentioned that he enjoys Sports Card Nation and Brody the Kid, and that uh, we were his, we kind of inspired him to do his own podcast. And, uh, you know, he said, uh, both of you are, are two of my favorites. But then he mentioned, like, in order, like, the favorites in order was, like, Brody the Kid was one and John Newman was too, and you know, it hurt my feelings a little bit. But, uh, but, but all joking aside, he said, you know, he, he because you're his age, he he can relate to you more. Yeah. And uh, was a uh, a great email. I will say this: I, I try not to cry uh, too much, but it, it hit me in the feels, as the kids uh, say. I even showed it to my wife, and uh, she says, "Wow, you, really?" So that's apparently what my wife. Uh, thanks to me, but uh, this young man, and we've, we've been exchanging uh, emails, and he's been asking, you know, questions here and there, and I love seeing uh, young men uh, do, and women, do, uh, you know, content creation, enjoying the hobby, 
you set, you know, you set a pretty high bar, so give him something uh, to shoot for. Uh, but is, is Jacob here? I'd like to bring him up and uh, we can talk to him, Brody. Oh, I know he said that I'm, I was the number one and you are number two, <laughs> which I'm going to point out again. But if you said he's a 13-year-old kid, so he can relate to me more. If it was a 30-year-old man, he, he, I think it would have been the other way around. You would have been the number one. So, Jay, welcome, welcome. Your first national, right? Yeah, it's my first national. Hey, hang on, we got. There we go. So, here's your first national, and you're on you're on the Go GTS main stage. You, what's that feel like? Oh, it's pretty crazy. I mean, it's my first national, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're, you're 13. You, you know what? What was it that said, "Hey, I I can do a podcast. I can do this." Well, I got into podcasting because of an anchor ad on your podcast, and I just told myself I could do it. I mean, it's, I felt like it was just like talking to myself about cards, but really talking to other people. I realized that after a couple episodes. You, you know what they say, the hobby is what? The people. Yeah, thank you. Um, what your name is? Your, what's the name of your podcast? I know it, but I'll have yeah. you introduce your podcast. Uh, the name of my podcast is Sports Card Second, uh, and it's a podcast that's going to be between like ten and twenty minutes, and it'll come out once a week on Mondays. All right, so I got to ask you, you what, what do you got? Eighteen episodes in, right? Yep. What's been the, the biggest surprise that you didn't really realize? Like, what's kind of caught you off guard? Honestly, uh, podcasting is a lot bigger than I thought. There's a lot more people that listen to podcasts than I thought. Honestly, starting out, I thought I'd not have, like, any followers, any listeners, just doing it for fun. But there's a lot more people out there than I thought that listen to hobby-related podcasts. Yeah, you know, when Sports Card Nation started uh, almost three years ago, we're not, not quite there yet, but we're getting close, you know. It's, it was slow going there, you know, there was times like, you know, how do I keep going? And, and I did. And, and here we are, you know, almost three years later. And so that's, that's my message to you and anyone else, like, you know, persevere, keep doing it. If you enjoy it, right. That's what it's about. Having fun. You have fun with what you show and, uh, that's, that's what it's all about. So, uh, I'll, I'll let you be a podcaster right here. Do you, you got any questions to ask to either your, your favorite guy or your second favorite guy? What is your strategy for going around the national? Like, how, to, how do you go around the different booths and try and look at it all? You, you want to go first? You want me to go first? I'll, I'll, I'll go first on this one. So my answer to that question is, I never get to the whole national, so we're going to let John give you a good answer about that because I just like circling the same booths over and over again, so let's bring it to John. Well, the, the one advantage I have, being a little bit wider of a guy, I can kind of budge in, especially on crowded days like today and what the next two days are, are going to be. But, but all joking aside, you just got to make a plan. I kind of section the national off. I kind of, you know, do it in like four quadrants and I make sure uh, I hit, you know, each quadrant. You're not going to, uh, it's almost impossible to see everything. The crowds, like you said, uh, Jacob, are, are crazy. And so you, you want to just take as much in as you can. The longer you're here, like I'm here all week, it's a little bit easier to divvy that up. The first national I've ever went to, I was only there for three days, so I really had to uh, hustle to uh, to get everything in. I'm sure I missed something, but, uh, you know, you just do the best you can, right? All right. Anything else? No, that was really all I could think of. <laughs> Brody, you, you want to ask Jacob anything? He's, he's your age. He's, he's, he's giving you a run for your money here. Well, first, I just want to give this to you, Jacob. Thank you for uh, joining us today on Sports Car Nation. The hobby is the people. Weekly news and interviews. It's your number one source, Sports Car Nation. You you sing as good you sing as good as me, Brody. That's why we that's why we do podcasts, and we're not 
at, at the lounge singing. But I, I also have uh, a shirt and some trinkets for Jacob as well. I want to tell you uh, from the bottom of my heart, I don't say this, it's not lip service. Uh, that letter, and, and so I'm getting to know you a little bit as well, uh, means the world to me. Uh, kids in the hobby, it, it's just huge. Keep going. I'm here. Uh, I'm sure Brody uh, is too. If you need any help, we're here to help you, okay? For sure. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everybody. Enjoy the national. Thanks for your time. Uh, we'll see you. Yes, check out the Signatures hey. for Soldiers booth and bid on the auction, download Handbit app. How great is that, guys? Big round of applause for Sports Cart Nation and Brody. Hey, folks, thanks for listening to the show. Wanted to give out our social media links where you can follow the show even when you're not listening to it. On Twitter, we are at Hits Hobby, at Hits Hobby, H I T S H O B B Y. On Instagram, we are at Hobby Quick Hits Podcast at Hobby Quick Hits Podcast, all one word. Our website is www.sportscardnation.net. Look for the link to Hobby Quick Hits. You'll find us there. And you can always text us on our text line, area code 315-491-0239. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.